have here a 1952, I believe, uh, Ford Flathead, 239 cubic inches. And as you can see, down in the water jackets and such, there is a lot of rust. This engine has not run in many years, and it is a mess. I'm trying to get it running again to go in my 51 Ford. It's not the original engine to the car, because the uh, car is actually a 51 Ford sedan, and as any of you flathead aficionados out there would know, this engine is green, which means it came out of a truck. Also, the cylinder heads are marked 8RT, showing it's from a truck, and I believe that C right there means this is a Canadian block. Anyway, as you can see, it is torn down uh, absolutely to the block, with the exception of uh, what I believe is the oil pump idler gear there. I couldn't get that out, but I'm not worried about that right now. Uh, to get all this rust out would be darn near impossible uh, by any means other than science. So I'm going to use uh, a process, uh, electrolysis, to try and get this out. Uh, basically the way it works is you take a uh, battery charger down there, just your normal everyday battery charger, hook the negative lead up solidly to the block and the positive lead to some sacrificial steel which I have here. Uh, just uh, some steel I was practicing some welding on a while back. Uh, basically the rust uh, is going to come off of the block or come out from inside of it and attach itself to that by attaching the positive lead to that. Uh, the way it is done, uh, you submerge it in water and you put a little bit of this stuff. This is Arm & Hammer Super Washing Soda. Note this is not the same thing as baking powder or anything like that. You gotta look for it, it's hard to find. Uh, the ratio that I have been told through my research works best is roughly one tablespoon per gallon of water. This is a 50 gallon tub, so you can do the math. Anyway, kind of nervous, never done this before, but uh, really I guess it can't hurt. We'll see. A little nervous, that's not really replaceable on my budget, and yes, I would be having professionals do this if I could afford it, but presently cannot. So, that's the last view of the flathead, I like that. Lots of nastiness, lots of uh, rust and badness, and we're gonna check back after I get it in there in about an hour, and you will see quite a difference, I believe. I think total, it's gonna probably sit for 12 to 20 hours. There's a lot of rust in this, so we'll see. By the way, I'm very proud of getting all 16 of those bastard valves out. Uh, I damn near broke three fingers and lost a lot of blood doing that. So I'm quite happy with that. But we're gonna give it a shot and go from there. We'll check back in about, well, about an hour. All right, it's been actually right at about two hours and there's lots of uh, bubbling and churning about. I don't know how well you can see it on the camera. But all that movement's generated by that electric current there. I haven't started or anything. You've got lots of rust forming up in there. It's gonna continue to go all night. Probably gonna check it out about 7 in the morning. That'll be a good 12 hour soak. I suspect that all over here we'll have lots of lots of that kind of crap. But uh, that's what we got after a couple hours. A lot of, a lot of nastiness. If you, yeah, you can't really see it on the camera too well, but under the water line, that's just solid, caked up with rust. So it's coming out. We'll see how it goes. All right, it has been just shy of 12 hours. As you can see, we have all kinds of nastiness built up through here. The water itself has kind of a rusty tinge to it. Um, yeah, it's definitely building up all kinds of great stuff there. I think I'm gonna let it uh, go ahead and continue soaking the rest of the day. Um, 
just because there was so much rust. And I'll pull it out tonight, and we'll see how it looks. So, good stuff. All right. Well, I put this in at 1,900 hours last night, and it is now, oh, about 22 hours later. I'd actually expected a lot more buildup, but uh, I did stir it this morning after I shot the video. There's still some bubbling and all that. That noise you hear in the background, that's uh, a little rainstorm moving in. Actually a little severe, but I had to come out and check on this. I'm going to go ahead and hoist it out and see how it looks, and uh, we'll see. Anyway, I'm excited about it. See how it comes out. All right, this is the, actually the third time I've done this. Every time I do it, I get a little more. Been doing some uh, little experimenting with different anodes and different positionings of them, and uh, this one seems to have worked really well. Got a lot of rust out. I'm going to go ahead and pull it out here in a minute and uh, shoot a video showing just what it looks like without rinsing it or anything, and we'll see how much uh, rust has come off. Then I'll rinse it and scrub it a little bit, and... I may do it a third time with the metal bar over on the uh, other side of the engine to help uh, get some out of those water jackets if needed. But um, I'm hoping they not. I'm hoping that it doesn't need that. <clears throat> so we'll see here in a little bit. But that's some of the nastiness and gunk that has come out. A lot of good stuff this time. Happy with this one. Well, here we are. I'd say it looks pretty good. This used to be covered all in rust, as did that. I don't know how you can see it. We have, well, see lots of shininess. I did rinse it off a little bit. Some little things like right here, need to get that off, but that's no big deal. Still have some work in those valves, but I can grind that out. Most of the rust in here is definitely gone <clears throat> still have a bit more over here on this side but I can deal with that I may go ahead and tank it again one more time put a little bit of a little bit of grinding and polishing on it first As you can see a lot of the paint the green paint has come off a little bit of uh, yellowish type residue left that'll be good can grind that down, buff that up a bit, and then it'll be ready to accept a nice coat of red. But uh, all in all, I'm pretty pleased with the way it's come out thus far. Still have some more work. This is the kind of stuff that's left. We have a bunch of nastiness. Here's some of the anode material I was using. Just some steel. I folded it up to give it some more surface area, but you can see that's... Uh, that's pretty nasty there. A lot of rust and junk on that. And the other one here. Let's see what we got. Yeah, look at that. Oh, all kinds of bad stuff on on that one. Yeah, not a lot of fun there. So anyway, let's see. This is just uh, all kinds of nasty stuff. I put the block on a piece of wood so it allows allows things to penetrate down to the bottom, but you can see what kind of junk we're talking about here. Go ahead and dump some of this out. Let's see. kinds of junk. Ugh. So all that pretty much used to be in the engine. Ugh. So all in all pretty pleased. Still have some more work to do but that's where we are. 
coming along. All right, well here we have the results of the hot tanking process, excuse me, uh, electrolysis process. As you can see, it looks a heck of a lot different. A lot shinier, uh, definitely not really much rust going on in there. Um, I did go ahead and have to do it several more times. I found that my charger was uh, cycling on me a little bit. Yeah, a little bit of rust there. Not too concerned with that bit. That one's absolutely clean, I like that. Uh, but charger was cycling, I'd come home from work and uh, there was no current, so that actually tends to cause rust, not get rid of it. So, uh, as you can see, it looks heck of a lot different, heck of a lot better. Came out pretty good, and I'm actually rather pleased. The front driver's side, so that's gonna be, let's see, that's the front. Actually, it was this cylinder right here I was really concerned about. Is that one? Yeah, it was. It was this one here I was really concerned about. It had a lot of uh, nastiness gunked up in there. One of the, the exhaust valve, I believe it was, was stuck open. And a bunch of, of bad stuff got in. It actually came out quite well. You can see the uh, air intake ports there look pretty good. Well, I've got it torn down like this. I'm going to go ahead and port and polish it too. Um, but I'm, I'm pretty happy. You can actually see a lot of the tooling marks. I don't know if you can come up there. It looks like a 22M4. That actually relates to the date, down to the day the engine was made. I'm going to go ahead and research that and get that down. Again, you can see there's a lot of different markings on it now that you couldn't see before. Uh, this C was visible. I believe I pointed that out prior. We have an A, another C, there's a B. It's like a kosher symbol there. That's rather strange. It's a kosher block. Awesome. Shalom. Uh, F. Lots of good stuff to decode. But, uh, you know, really pretty much that rust is all gone. Came out really well. I'm probably going to have it uh, bored over. Probably maybe 10, 20 thousandths. Not really sure. But just to make sure that got perfect cylinder walls there. I know that on one of these, there's a scratch. Yeah, you can see right in there there's a scratch and I don't want that in my finished engine. Some of the uh, anode material I used, you can see there it's uh, quite rusty and nasty. Well, that was all new, unrusted, brand new carbon steel uh, when I uh, started this process. But I mean all in all it probably sat for the better part of two days. Now all that time was not spent charging or with a current flowing through it because my uh, my charger kind of let me down, so there's a car by the way, it'll be in there eventually. A little bit more of the, the rust and nastiness that uh, came on these bits of angle steel as we got a little more creative with using more anodes. So anyway, there's the uh, Matt Doris new and improved flathead. Oh, I just love looking at that shine. So that's kind of how a, a hillbilly electrolysis works. You can see that not really much paint left. Used to be green, pretty much see bare metal through there a little bit. So, but oh man, that just, that just looks beautiful. So, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. Um, you know, I know that I'd never done it before and I was really nervous, but I'm quite pleased with that result. So, all right, well thank you. And uh, let me know if you have any questions.